All right, parents, week two. This is our first session for week two. I'm so glad you guys are sticking with us. We're having a blast doing these videos and we're looking forward to seeing maybe some pictures or videos or comments from you guys telling us about your experience following along with these videos. Okay, now one quick thing that I wanna mention right here at the beginning of the video, um, I mentioned it last week, but I wanna make sure you guys remember, if at any time you wanna pause the video to make the workout a little bit longer, maybe do some extra reps of some of these exercises, please feel free to do that. That can really help you to burn off some of that extra energy. Just for the length of the video's sake, we're only doing about 10 reps of these things. Um, but if you wanna either just repeat the whole video or if you want to pause and work on something that needs a little bit more attention, feel free to do that, all right? Okay, guys, are you ready? Set. Set. Awesome, ready? Very good. Okay, guys, we're gonna start with something called seal tap. So you guys remember we were in seal position last week, right? Okay, let's go ahead and get back in that seal position, please. Awesome job, toes on the floor, perfect. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. I want you to go ahead and push up into that seal position. You're just gonna hold this position right here. Now, every time I count, you're gonna take one hand and you're gonna tap your other shoulder and put it down without letting your belly fall to the floor. Got it? Okay, here we go. You're gonna alternate hands. Ready, and One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Wow, you guys did that really, really well. Great job. Go ahead and stand up for me, please. Okay, now we're going to do something called Frankenstein. Some people call them robots, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to put your hands up just like this. Now, I want you to pretend that your feet are, your legs are made of um, wood so they can't bend. Okay, and from here, you're going to take one foot and you're just going to bring it up, boom, and touch your other, touch your hand on that side. And then we're going to do the other side, boom, just like that. We're going to do that 10 times. Can you guys do that? Yes, sir. Okay, get those hands up straight in front of you, not up to the side, straight in front, Mr. Michael. Right here, just like that. Excellent job. Okay, here we go. Ready, in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep those hands straight out in front of you. Ten. Keep your back up nice and straight. You don't want to bend over. And very good. Okay, that was 10 reps. The next thing we're going to do is something you guys know really, really well. Time for some bicycles. Go ahead and lay down on your backs, please. Set, set. Great job. And pedal those bicycles. Ready, set, and go. All right, guys, we're going to do this for about 15 seconds. Pedal, pedal, pedal as fast as you can. Get that heart rate pumping. Super speed, super speed. Try to make circles with your feet. Circles with your feet. There you go, Miss Becca. That looks good. Five, four. Wow, that's fast, Michael. Three. Two, and stop, very good. Okay, stay in that position. I want you to just sit up for me. Okay guys, this is something new that we haven't done before. These are called crab kicks. We're gonna really work on your core here. Parents, this is a great opportunity for you to take a look around and make sure your kids aren't gonna hit anything. Okay guys, so you're gonna be in a crab position right here. Now what I want you to do is lift your body up in that crab position and then every time I count, you're gonna take one foot and you're gonna kick it straight out and bring it back. All right, here we go, ready in? One, two, Three, four, five, six. Try to keep your heels on the floor. Seven, don't let your tush touch. Bring your tush up a little bit, Miss Becca. What were we on? Six, seven, straighten that knee all the way out. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. If that's super easy for your student parents, make them bring their foot up further toward the ceiling. Boom, way up here. Boom, way up here. That makes it a little bit more difficult. All right, very good, guys. Now, go ahead and sit in your learning stance for me, please. Parents, make sure you're reinforcing these stances at home. Use the same terminology I use here, and the students will be more quick to jump into that position. Okay, guys. So, whew, I gotta take a breath. I'm talking too fast. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna review what we did last week with our hand position, but instead of using it for punches, we're gonna use it for blocks today. We're working on blocks, okay? So, when we were doing our punches, we did our fist, Tight, that's right, great memory, good job, okay? You wanna make sure you don't have a donut where you can see through it. You want it to be a nice solid rock, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so fist tight. What was the next thing? Uh, hand to the hip, uh, right? Hip. So fist tight, fist tight. hand to the hip. hip. Very good, and the last thing was? Eyes open. Eyes open, that's right. We wanna watch where we're blocking just like we wanted to watch where we're punching. Okay, guys, go ahead and stand up for me, please. Yes, sir. All right, I have an awesome game for you guys today. And here's how it's gonna work. You guys are gonna work together. Parents, you can do this with your child. Now for this next drill, you're gonna need a small pillow or maybe a balloon um, or something of that sort that you can drop without hurting somebody, okay? Now what I have right here is one of these century square pads. 
which worked perfect for this drill. Okay, so you guys are gonna help each other out with this one. All right, uh, I tell you what, actually I'm gonna change that up. I'm gonna have you guys do it with me. So Miss Becca, would you stand right here in front of me, please? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Michael, can you sit in a learning stance, please, while I do this drill with Becca, and then you'll get a chance to hop up and do it? Okay, Miss Becca, we're gonna be doing a high block today. Can you show me a great high block with your right hand, please? There we go, great. When you guys do this high block, I want you to turn toward the camera right here. Okay, when you guys do this high block, make sure their hand is up above their head. They're using the blade of their arm to block, not with their palm up, but with their palm facing out and away from them. Make sure it's all the way over their head because if it's way out here, they're gonna get bopped in the head on this next drill, so make sure it's right up here. Okay, Miss Becca, go ahead and turn and face me. Thank you so much. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna hold this above your head, okay? You're gonna have your hands down by your side, and when I say drop, I'm going to drop this padding. Your job is to get that hand, boom, right up there before it hits your head. Okay, can you do that? Yes, sir. Okay, parents, don't drop it and then say drop. You want to drop, say drop first and then drop it. That gives them just that little bit of reaction time that they need to get their hand up there. Now, the goal here is to get five times in a row without getting hit in the head. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Mr. Michael, if this pad bumps away up over there, I want you to go grab it for me. Got it? Okay, here we go. Hands on your hip. Yes, I want you to alternate hands. Thank you for asking. Doesn't matter. Ready? And... Drop. Oh, good job. You got it. Okay, let's do it again. Drop. Excellent job. Oh, can you grab that for me, Mr. Michael? Give me the head. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I Speak play. kindly. Speak kindly. Show courtesy. Okay, step forward real quick. Ready and drop. Great job. Okay, let's let Mr. Michael hop up here. Now, parents, you want to do that to where you can get five times on each arm before you stop. Okay, so if you if you uh, get hit in the head, you want to stop, you want to start right back over at number one. Okay, are you ready, Mr. Michael? It does not matter. You get to choose, okay? Ready, in. Drop. Oh, good job. You made it. All right, ready, in. Other hand. Drop. Excellent job. Okay, here we go. Ready, in. Drop. Oh, very good. Okay, so that is our pad drop challenge. Again, you want to make sure you get five reps on each arm with that without the pad hitting their head. Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to do is block by the numbers. Go ahead and stand up for me, please, Miss Becca. Back to your positions, guys. Quickly, quickly. Can I get a nice light? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome job. Okay. I want you guys to show me a great horse dance, please. Yes, sir. Awesome. Bend those knees nice and low. Okay, here we go. The further you sit down, the stronger your legs are going to be. Now, normally we would have maybe a, a, a dice or something that we could roll to do this drill with, but instead I'm just going to call out numbers. And what I want you guys to do is every time I call out a number, you're going to do that many blocks. So if I call out two, you're going to go one, two and then back, okay? If I call out five, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Make sure they're nice, solid blocks. Don't just throw them up there all willy-nilly, right? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna call out a random number. Ready, and three. One, two, three. Count them out loud. Let's see, let's do one. One. And bring it back, five. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five. Good, make sure they're good, solid blocks. Don't just stick your hand up here like this, right? Yes, sir. Okay, ready, and six. One, one two, two, three. Four, five, six. Make sure they're good blocks. Excellent job and put it back down. Awesome job. So parents, you can do as many reps of that as you want to do. Okay, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is just a few quick stretches. We're gonna start off with a twist stretch. You go ahead and put your feet shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit further. Now, we're gonna take one hand, we're gonna put it on our chest. We're gonna take the other hand and put it behind us. And we're gonna turn as far as we can around. Oh, reach, 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 reach. And just hold that position. Make sure your feet stay still. Try to glue your feet to the floor and keep your arm up at shoulder level if you can. Awesome job. Okay, now turn and reach the other way. Switch hands, put the other hand on your chest, turn and reach, 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 reach. Feel that stretch in your lower back. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. And good. Okay, you wanna hold those stretches for about 10 seconds. Okay, guys, go ahead and sit down, please. All right, now, usually when we do this position right here, we're gonna do something called the butterfly stretch, right? We're gonna do something just a little bit different. We're gonna do the airplane stretch today, okay? So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and grab onto your ankles right here. Now, we're gonna do one leg at a time. This is called the airplane stretch because it's like the airplane is tilting one way, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push down on this leg over here. We're gonna hold it for about five seconds. And then we're gonna push down on this leg over here. We're gonna hold that for about five seconds. Now we're gonna push down on the other side again, back and forth, like we're tilting like an airplane. Awesome job. And then down on the other side, again, five seconds. You can up, you can increase these times just a little bit, parents. I wouldn't go any more than about 20 seconds per side for this drill. These are dynamic stretches, which means they require some movement. Okay, guys, that was awesome. Go ahead and stick your feet straight out in front of you. Okay, we're gonna do something called a rowboat stretch. It's kind of like the one we did last week where we reached down and touched our toes. 
But this time we're going to act like we're going to row a boat. So we're going to put our arms up like this. We're going to reach oh as far as we can, and then we're going to slowly pull our hands back. And what I want you guys to do is go ahead and put your hands down on the mat and drag them back. Good. Now make sure you're moving with your upper body, not just reaching with your hands, right? Yes, sir. Okay, keep those feet together, hand, toes aimed straight up to the sky. Okay, ready in. Reach and drag it back. Reach and drag it back. Reach with your whole body, Michael. Reach and drag it back. Great. Reach. We're going to do 10 of these. This is number five. Here we go. Number six. I want you to drag with your body, Michael. Seven. Reach. Eight. Reach. Nine. Last one, reach. Ten. Very good. Okay, go ahead and stand up for me, please. Yes, sir. This is going to be our last activity of the day. Okay, guys, this is going to be called our stretching kicks. Now, most of your students have probably done these in class, so they'll know what to do. Again, make sure you're going to look around, and is there anything you guys are going to hit? No. No, make sure when you guys are doing this exercise at home that there's nothing you guys are going to run into. Okay, give me a right leg back fighting stance, please. Yes, sir. Awesome. Now, parents, notice that I'm actually in a left foot back fighting stance. That helps the students not to get confused. But if you're doing this in the same, if you're all facing the same direction, you can do a right leg back fighting stance too. Okay, guys, we're going to do stretching kicks. What you're going to do is you're going to keep your knee straight. You don't want it to bend on this kick, okay? You're going to use the leg that's behind you. You're going to kick your hands up. You're going to slowly bring that leg straight up and back down, okay? You're trying to stretch that hamstring, okay? We're going to do 10 reps on each side. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Try to go a little bit higher. Nine. Last one. Keep that leg nice and straight. And ten. Very good. Okay, switch feet. Yes, sir. Awesome. Here we go. Ten more reps. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five. Keep those hands up, Mr. Michael. Try not to lower your head. You want to keep yourself in the base. Six. Seven. Make sure you keep your heels on the floor. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very good. Excellent job. Turn up. Kyung Ye. Great job, guys. Thank you so much for being part of this. Parents, I hope you guys enjoyed that little exercise. I bet it was really fun for you, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Bye. Wave, guys. Bye.